All right, I'm back out to the property this morning. It's the 18th of May. I went to my daughter and her husband's house yesterday. To, we haven't seen a bee in those traps for all spring. So I just went out there to collect the empty traps and uh, checked one of them and it had bees in it. And then checked the other one and it has bees in it too. So. It's late in the year. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with them. I'm gonna put them in a box for now, probably in nukes. Um, so I wanna see what's going on with them. Probably gonna go ahead and uh, get a nuke down here before I open them up. But I wanted to show you. I haven't seen what's in there. It looks like there's a lot of bees in there, but we shall see. All right, I got my nuke box. Got a six frame nuke I had up here. I had another hive in. We'll see, uh, go on and get into these and see how aggressive they're going to be. Usually, I like to let them sit a little bit, but I don't get to get out here to the property as much. So I'm going to go ahead and see if they'll let me put them in a box, see how aggressive they are. Hopefully, they're not too bad. This one's number 11. Both of these were down in the woods at her house and they were kind of down in the hoe and I thought, well, that's probably not the place to put them down in the woods and down in the hoe. The rest of them are on the edge of the woods. And, uh, but these are late swarms. There's a bunch of bees in here. So if you can see down in between there, it looks like three out of the four frames. Two and a half, maybe. Our field. Give them a little more smoke. I thought about, <coughs> oh God. I thought about starting them. Um, oh, there's five frames in here. I thought about starting them. Um, to do some queens and use these in my mini nukes raising queens it just wasn't going to work out with the timing and all so I went ahead and brought them out here that's just an old frame didn't have nothing on that one got bees on it but there's no not got it drawn at all This one, I've got this side drawn up <clears throat> pretty good. Got eggs, all those, I'm sure you can't see it, but all those cells have got eggs, a little tiny egg in the bottom of it. Be hard to see on the camera. <clears throat> when they're starting to draw out this side, uh, This side has got eggs in it too. I'm gonna put that up there and hold it for a second. There's eggs down in the bottom of those cells, which is good. So now I've got a queen. Hopefully we'll see her, but I don't know. Thank goodness we don't have too much burke on. Got some cat brood. I'll show you in just a second. All the brown cats 
our cat brood. And if you can see down in those cells, there's larva in the bottom of those cells too. Just like my other hives, um, got a lot of cat brood. but no, hardly any honey stores. I had to put feeders on most of my other ones yesterday. Well, there's the queen. Right at the top corner. I see her there in the picture, so you can see her if you look. She's a lot bigger. I lost her now. I go ahead and stick her back in here. But she's laying good, but there's just not much um, in the way of honey in here, just like my other hive. We're in a dearth right now, which just means that there's no nectar flowing or nothing for them to collect for honey. In Kentucky, somewhere around the middle of June, starts our dearth, just depending on the year. Sometimes we get clover. I'm not seeing it. Some people say they're seeing clover, but I'm not seeing it. Uh, clover honey coming in. I see some bees on clover, but this hive is dry. No nectar at all in here. So they're collecting something and <clears throat> living on what they're collecting. They're surviving on it but they're not storing anything at all in the hive. Looks like it's got a couple of wax moths in here. I don't know how well you can see that. There's a couple of wax moths in the bottom and then the bees are sticking to the side. We'll dump them out. And they'll come back over here. So we're gonna do it pretty simple for now. And go ahead and close them up. I don't have any feed um, or feeders with me. So I have to bring some feed and put back out. Out here on them in the next couple of days, either that or I might give them a frame of honey from one of these other hives. But it's, it's pretty good, it's got a lot of Again, there's a lot of, I'm surprised to see so much brood. She's laying so much and there's no excess nectar. I guess they've got enough where she can lay and they can feed it, but there's not an excess at all. So I keep seeing the same thing in all these hives, a lot of brood and no nectar. So definitely got to figure out some way to get some food to these girls. these in it now and I, I never leave a frame out I see a lot of guys leaving frames out and I'll come back in there and put a frame of honey in or I never leave a frame out because then I don't have to worry about bird comb because if I left that frame out and forgot and they did start getting honey in they would fill all that space up with bird comb and that is a mess to clean up it's hard on you and hard on the bees all right so they're in the nuke We got rid of our what few rat moths they had. I'm just gonna dump these out on the ground and clean this box out a little bit.
if you can see that. It's got some trash and stuff in there. got the screen on it so it'll be ready for next year All right, that takes care of that one. We'll give it a number 20 with a number for another one. I had on in there and leave some uh, notes on it. I didn't bring my marker. I left my other suit at the house, so we'll have to change change that up in a day or two. We'll put that number on there and then mark it. I'll write it down for now what I did and, and where. Right now, I'm going to go get a nuke for this other one. The other one is over there. For now, I think I might do it on this lower side. So I go get a nuke box and we'll come back. All right, this is the second nuke box from Kevin and Amy. said nuke box I meant swarm trap these are 19 and 20 I would have been <coughs> I would have been pretty happy I started decided to put out these swarm traps if I'd have got 10 I put out 20 of them I thought well if I could get 10 swarms I would consider that a success and with these two, it makes 20. So I'm really happy with these uh, swarm traps. They've done really good. Everybody thinks they've got to buy bees and nukes and packages. And, uh, all this stuff. If this was a package, I think packages are selling for about 130 bucks. This would be 130 bucks worth of these. It's kind of a pain. I, I was out last night till about 11:30, probably collecting them. But I collected two. Uh, there was one at Mark's house I couldn't get. It had all kind of bees on the outside of the box. I really couldn't get them. I didn't bring my stuff with me, so I didn't have no way to get them in the box or put them in another box or whatever. This is the first frame. Five frames in this one too. One frame didn't have anything on it. This one does have nectar. I don't know if you can see right here by my thumb. Where's my thumb? The other thumb, right there. I don't know if you can see in themselves a shiny, but it does have a little nectar in this one. There's a few more bees. They've been able to collect a little bit of an excess. Yeah, 
these frames have got signs of got honey in the top like it should have. This right here by my thumb is capped honey. And then it should be pollen and then capped brood. And we've got capped honey, no pollen, and again, a lot of brood. I see some dark bees on there. There's dark bees and some light bees. Kind of a variety of colors. That just means that queen, she made it with about 15 drones. And some of the drones she made it with were dark and some of them were not as dark. So when she uses those sperm from the dark drone, she, they, they emerge as dark bees. And when it's a lighter drone, they emerge as uh, lighter bees. They all look pretty good. No pot, some honey and no pollen. I see them bring pollen in, but there's just not a, I don't think there's an excess of pollen or uh, nectar either one right now. I think they got enough to supply their needs to eat. There's a high beetle. I don't know if you can see it. Some of these have had high beetles. A, the bee is attacking it. It's a little black beetle, big enough to see. I guess they ride in with them when they move into the box. I don't know, or the larva does maybe. I don't know how they get into a swarm trap with a swarm of bees, but they travel with them apparently. Scattered brew pattern, got some honey. Got a lot of eggs. Don't see the queen, but I do see eggs. Need to try to get some uh, pollen patties to put in here. I think it would help them a lot with the feed. I might be missing the queen, or she might be on this last frame. Glad there's no bird comb. This is a nice frame of crap brood. Honey at the top, but no pollen. No bee bread. And there's the queen. Let's see her. Hopefully you can see her, it's hard to let go. And watch you too. Good looking light queen. I'll set her down in here. Give him another frame, it's just a frame of foundation. over here. So two pretty good sized swarms for late in the season. I'm not disappointed. Um, I'm glad there wasn't no bird comb. Uh, they both got queens. They're both laying good. Just not a lot of food, not a lot of stuff for them to eat. Man. Hopefully I can rectify that. I'm gonna check this hive. It's a big hive. I might go ahead and pull the honey off of this hive. And um, get down in there, I need to, I'm gonna split it, try to get, go uh, singles through the winter this year. But uh, I might pull me a frame of honey out of there and put in these two hives. We'll see. There you have it, two more nukes. Again, I don't know if they've got time to build up through the, to make it through the winter, I'll feed them and see what happens. I might, this might be some, everybody's saying you can overwinter nukes. I might try to overwinter these nukes if I can get them to fill it out good. I got plenty of time to feed them. So I imagine I'll be buying a lot of sugar this year and feeding. 
to get all these. I've got, I think, roughly 25 hives. I got some hives that's trying to raise their own queens. Um, roughly 25 right now. So I'd like to get maybe 30 to try to take through the winter and then hopefully, uh, pessimistically, I guess, we come out of winter into spring with my 20. But if I go in with 20, you know you're gonna lose some. So you're gonna have 15 or something in the springtime. But I'm gonna try to go into winter with 30 feed them real good and heavy, do everything I can to get 30 through the winter. But if I don't, maybe at least I'll have my 20. All right, thanks for watching. Got any comments, leave them below.